Hey guys, welcome back to my filthy bench. Um, I have completed a kit, so we will talk about that. Um, got a couple things in the mail to try, um, but we might as well talk about the kit. I finished the NPC 10th anniversary 1979 Trans Am. Um, Turned out okay. Personally, for me, this isn't my scheme. I'm um, not into it, but um, I went to a swap in Ottawa a few weeks back, and it was there, and I just finished the Camaro, so I thought, what the hell, for comparison, we'll, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we'll uh, try that. I got sick last week. I, I actually finished this a couple of weeks ago and I was going to do the video up, but uh, I sound like uh, a teenager going through puberty. I got laryngitis and uh, my voice went on me. So I skipped the video. Um, the MPC Firebird, when I first started the kit, I thought, oh, this is better than the Camaro. Um, the fairings and everything seemed to fit a little better and then I thought maybe it's just because I've been through it with the uh, Camaro so I kind of have an idea of what to do um, but I was wrong um, this kit was more of a pain in the ass I would say it fought me um, it um, is the same chassis as the Camaro and it really does not fit in this body that great. Um, we have huge gap here whereas the Camaro it um, had a plate in here that it butted against in the front end so it was to me I'm not 100% on this but my guess would be that this chassis was for the Camaro and then they've used it with this body. Um, the decals for being 34 years old, they actually worked not bad. The issue was the they're not correct uh, or they're incomplete. Um, they don't have the decal for around the rear window. There's some stripes on the cowls. Um, I masked and painted these around the wheels. The, the match isn't 100%. I'm a little bit uh, lighter maroon purplish color than this and to be honest with you I screwed up I thought they didn't have this decal here I thought it was for the back window so I masked and sprayed it and um, not trying to to talk myself up but I must have got it bang on because when I did realize the decal went there it covered my uh, my stripe perfectly but um, yeah it's a cool looking car I guess um, the top I used I used Tamiya LP 11 silver on the body lacquer and um, I used what the hell did I use on the top um, did I use MRP no I used graphite yeah I did use MRP that's MRP graphite up here which is like a Tamiya smoke. It's like a, um, like a transparent color kind of. Now when I first was doing the build, you have to cut the T-tops out of this. Um, in here. So I put some plastic strip in here and painted it black to kind of resemble T-top seals. I was going to put the the latch mechanisms and stuff in here too and try to detail it up but the kit really 
it's not really detailed enough to go through the, the headaches with that, so I didn't. Um, silver interior, which is hard to break shit up, silver body, silver interior. So I used some washes in there. Um, you see the interior a little bit more obviously because if I can get it in frame because the uh, I just broke an exhaust tip off awesome um, Because the roofs hacked open But uh, I was never a fan of these rims on the one-to-one -one car and like I said because this Body kind of uh, there's that exhaust tip I broke off Sweet um, because I think the body's for the Camaro, it just sits like shit on it. See, it moves around. Not really any positive location to glue it down. Or it, the body is wider than the um, chassis. The interior tub kind of floats in the car because of it. And I tried to put uh, super glue on top of the rad supports here and then clamp it down, but it just ends up busting off and it bounces around sorry my camera work is shit here but it's um yeah I don't know I don't see it it's just crap and it kind of fucks with the stance like it doesn't make it tight so whatever it uh I'm just rambling now but it turned out it looks nice like it looks nice on the shelf especially beside the Camaro it looks good but Mm, on the kit, it's. I don't think there's uh, any other kit of the 79 anniversary Trans Am, so this is it. No, I have. Uh, I think I even ordered them. Uh, I didn't understand this. Ray's Decals is a place that makes car decals, and um, they have this set, and it's complete. It's got all the wheel arch stuff, uh, louver stuff. It's complete set, rear window. So I could attempt to do this car again um, with the completed decals. But um, what I didn't know was I think they're from the UK and then they get them printed in Europe and then they're sent back to the UK for processing. And then they, like, by the time they come to Canada, it'll all be dead. Our mail system here sucks ass. So, like, it will take forever. But then I found out on Facebook. There is a Ray's Deckles North America distributor. He seems like a really nice guy. So he's been flogging the stuff on there. So maybe I will attempt to um, get some stuff from him. There's two projects in particular that I ordered decals for that uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to. So um, that is the Firebird Trans Am. Um, it is, excuse me, this boxing by the way, which is a rebox of the same kit that said Trans Am, they must have lost the licensing, and I believe the Trans Am one had the Trans Am decal for here, um, this one had a bunch of letters and you could have made it, but I, uh, I got to the point with this, where it's like I'm finishing this shit and I'm moving on, so, um, it was kind of that type of build that type of kit um, I'll have to put this back on I, uh, I don't care for fa I feel like I'm being negative here and uh, I don't mean to be um, I don't care for kit chrome normally I would strip it and uh, gloss black it and paint it uh, <coughs> alkali chrome or um, green stuff was the last one I tried but whatever, a chrome paint, which leads me into, I was just at a club meeting, again in Ottawa, and Bill at the Hobby Center had this shit, so I picked it up, AK Super Chrome, um, and the thinner cleaner. This says it's an ink. Um, I believe, Meg of Ammo is making a, um, um, what do you call that stuff? I have it right here. Uh, I don't have it right here. This stuff, bare metal foil. Um, 
Meg of Ammo is making or Ammo Mag or Ammo. I don't Meg. I don't fucking know. Uh, they're making this stuff, and it looks really nice. So I got to get some. Uh, Lucas, he has some on his channel that he's discussed a little bit. Said he's going to try it. Curious to try that. Um, finding and disappointed with the Chrome. I have uh, got the Molotov here. I've I've I literally looking at my paint rack. I have two rows just dedicated on metalizers from the crappy Vallejo acrylics to AK extremes to Alclads to the green stuff stuff that I just tried to MRPs to old testers uh, metalizers that are out of production <coughs> never really been happy some of it looks okay durability not so good especially to get the best appearance on it I've been finding <coughs> GX1 Mr. Color I think or any gloss black and then I've been 2K'ing over it so it's kind of a slippery surface and um, rubs off pretty easy curious to see what this stuff is uh, is like here Does it have some sort of odor to it it looks like, um, you know, the Terminator dude. It looks like um, the enamel stuff that always looked badass but then didn't dry. Like it looks like a liquid chrome because it is liquid chrome. Durr. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that shit pans out. Um, maybe I'll actually spray it right now after this video. Um, the other thing I just got in the mail one twelfth scale 69 Camaro um, old kit I built it as a kid I loved it I painted it probably six times uh, and like crappy job um, I just want to get the body out I know I'm out of frame here Just to give you an idea how big it is, it's hilarious. Um, where's the Firebird? That's the 25th scale Firebird. I'm zoomed out all the way compared to the 12th scale. <coughs> Excuse me, come on. So that is sick. Um, when I was a kid, I uh, this is my favorite car. If I was a millionaire, I would be buying this exact Z28 302. I think they had a cross ram. This would be the car I got. Um, maybe someday I will get it. But um, as a kid, when I built this, I, I left it orange. Did a shitty job, cut the hood, put the tunnel ram on with the two horns, and uh, put the slicks on the back. And um, but kind of left it stock looking. Other than that, I didn't have racing stickers or anything on it. And then I painted it a metallic blue and put the stripes on afterwards. And I remember it sat at my parents in my room forever. But anyways, who cares about that? Um, I want to, the last show I was at was in Hamilton at Heritage Con, and a guy had this, <coughs> excuse me, um, still have kind of a sore throat, um, he had this and it was lit up, and it had a trailer behind it with the drag racing version of this on it, and I think it was lit too, I think the trailer was too, and it looked sick. So I think I'm going to do this uh, orange, white stripes, stock. Um, I'll probably put the wider street tire on it versus the stock tire with the stock rim. And um, I'm probably going to take it to the next Heritage Con, I guess, is what I'm thinking. But we'll see. That's a, that's a long ways away. 
and onto the current build. Here it is. I haven't really done anything with it yet. Controversial. <coughs> JR Salvino's next gen kit. Um, lots of people are building this. Uh, I have basically cut the parts off the sprue for the first few steps. Um, it's hard to comment on this kit because there seems to be a little bit of buzz about it, but um, took a while. There was just some delays, which is understandable. Like I, I don't know, I see both sides of it. Um, this is a completely new tool kit from Plans that were given to them of a car that hadn't even been made yet. So, uh, yeah, uh, for a first attempt at a complete kit, um, I believe it was their first attempt anyways, it's not too bad. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. There's lots of detail and um, it's good. There are some bads, however, and it seems as if we talk about those pads, it's starting uh, some, I don't know, I, I, I don't even know how to discuss it really, because I'm going to go too far in depth <laughs> with my opinion and it's going to offend people and I don't mean to, I don't want to, it's great, um, there's no competition so this is it and I'm happy to have them and, and, and I will buy, I have bought several of them, I'm in the Builders Club and I will buy several more. Um, maybe the issue with what's going on with the guys that have been kicked out of the club and um, um, what gets said on on social media is the delivery of it or people are taking things the wrong way. I know when I text my wife she takes context into things and I don't mean it in that manner. And, um, yeah, it's tough to do this shit on Facebook because you get, you take something the wrong way and then something escalates before really even know what's going on and it's just gone too far. So I'll just, I guess I'll leave it at that. But, um, this is the correction sheet for the instructions. Um... So there's a few problems. Oh, actually, I just noticed something. I was just kind of bitching about these, and there's the answer right there on the correction sheet. So there you go. Um, but compare this kit to a 1980 NASCAR kit or even a Revell 90s kit. It's really nice. The Tamiya line has been dropped on this a couple times. This is not a Tamiya quality kit. It's just not. Um, that's not saying it's not good. There's some guys right now. Um, Darren Cook's doing an awesome job on it. Luca just did, I've seen lots of guys do really, really nice jobs with it. Hopefully I can do something to do it justice. But, um, I'm going to leave that at, right there. Uh, I'll show you the scheme. going to do the Jones. I got a bunch of um, Three Amigos decal sets, but I'm going to do the Jones 2022 Air Force uh, throwback. And it's going to be interesting because it's um, a matte olive drab paint. So I can't really 2K that. Or thought maybe I could 2K it and then 
do something over top. I don't know why I would do that though. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But um, I have to use either the Larson or the Elliott body. This is of nobody's fault but mine. Um, I get all my kits shipped to the United States and I can't get across the border right now to pick them up. So uh, these came to the local hobby shop and I bought both. I've ordered, I think I have a total of um, 12 next gen kits sitting in Ogdensburg at the UPS store. I just need to pick them up. But uh, I'll prime these. People are getting irritated because they're um, molding them in body color, but I don't really understand that because um, I, I haven't been into cars for very long and I've been building some older kits, but they all seem to be molded in color. The Camaro I just built was blue. Um, there's a Mustang out there that's yellow. They are all in uh, funky colors, so then there is the talk that this is pigment and not dye and all this shit. I don't know. I'm gonna prime them, I'm gonna paint them, I don't think it's gonna be a problem, so I don't care. I don't give a shit what they were color there. Um, other than that, uh, my next project was going to be a Ravel and a Monogram, which is the same kit. Um, 1970 Boss Mustang. I've gone to Napa and got the paint for it. I've got the Ford Orange and the one of the Blues. But now I'm thinking I might do one in yellow and then do a Torino in blue. I don't know. That doesn't matter but um, this I'm doing in a group for a group build so this will be the next. Uh, I don't know if I'll do videos or not but probably the next build. So, sorry for rambling, 21 minutes, yikes. Um, I'll get this together here and on the YouTube. Hope everybody is doing well and um, looking forward to this group build and seeing what everybody does on it. Some really good modelers in it. Um, Mike's Deckles just dropped two new liveries in this, uh, schemes I call them. I don't know if liveries seem silly, but uh, Chase Elliott and, is it Chase on? It's a NOS car. I forget who it is, but uh, cool schemes. Mike's Deckles, just yesterday they came out. So I'll order those and uh, build a whole bunch of these kits, hopefully. Uh, if everybody doesn't want to kill me from what I've said in this video. Anyways, have fun.